Hey, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you every single comic I've made from 2015 up until present now in 2020, where um, I'm going to sort of give you a look at everything that I did throughout the years. And obviously, this is to celebrate me finishing my first ever book, which is Faith, and that's uh, that. So just before the game, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more comic book videos from me, because I'm going to be doing a lot in the coming weeks. And we're going to get straight into it. So we're going to start in 2015 and this is January 2015. This is Zombie Slaughter Squad and this is the first book I did where I just used anything I had and I was using this sort of simple stickman style which kind of evolved from that and just went into this pretty much. So this is issue one. I did these, uh, these like cool sticky tabs as well. So we're going to take a look inside and this is how I did the layout for this. So I had these like cool sort of custom panels where I uh, I made all like the outer line black, so I used a lot of ink doing that as well. So got this like kill thing. It was more of a comedy sort of thing, so it wasn't really taking it too seriously. And we got the green zombies, so that's kind of where the whole uh, comedy aspect comes from. Is it's not too serious, but it is at the same time, you know. And this is just the first thing that I did properly. Uh, probably the first one I actually finished, and I still don't know why I've still got it to this day, but. Yeah, this is, uh, this is where it all began, pretty much. It's just this book. And I did my own fake advertisements. There's one of them there. And there's another one which I really like on uh, how that came out. Uh, this is before I even had any proper art materials as well. So I just did it with whatever I had available to me. And uh, yeah, that's that's the first one. And it was left on a cliffhanger, like I do with all of them. And then there's a, a fake barcode, which wasn't even straight. So yeah, that's the first one. And then there's the second one, but because uh, I don't know what happened, but it got water damaged because I've had it for, for years now, for about five years. This is the second one, and this is what the cover looks like for this one. So obviously going into it, it's the same exact style as the first one, as you can see here. There's a bit of a green as well that I used because I was running out of black ink when I did this one at the time. Obviously, no surprise how I did the panels. Obviously going through each page now. We got this so it changed to sort of like this dark green because uh, i ran out of black ink so i was just making use of what i had you know got all these like cool uh, combat scenes going on here and uh, you can tell the water damage has really done some some real damage on this uh this is what each panel looks like for each page we've got these like cool flashbacks and all these uh cool characters and stuff like that so the the main story was just them trying to survive basically and this uh, gang trying to take him out and then there was this bit at the end where this is the guy who's like the the one basically and yeah that page got really messed up over time so that's the second one there there was actually a third one but i have lost the cover now so i don't know what happened but here's the one that started all this is remain z issue one february 2016 this is the cover that i like it's it's pretty much represents everything through remain z and it is where it started as well so taking a look, I have notes that I did on every page. Uh, I did this in sort of a similar style again, but this was more of a um, trying to shape up everything to look better. Uh, I didn't do panels at this point because uh, I didn't actually know how to do them. And I kind of regret doing the, the pinkish skin tones because I didn't have any proper skin tone pens. So I just made do what I had. I had this kill pen as well that I'd used for this jumper on this character because I really liked how that purple came out. So yeah, this is uh, the first one what that looked like at the time and i did this kill cover as well in the back which is just london underground because obviously the story is mainly based in london that's where it starts anyway so going to the second one uh, i did this cover in advance so i did this cover about six months before i even started doing any of it so there's a bit of a it's like a glittery blue on there as you might be able to tell it's on the flag as well which is pretty cool this is april 2016 and as you can see from this, it's exactly the same style as the first one. So as you go through, it's just more story pretty much. And uh, this is where they go to a skill because the, they try and find shelter in the skill from this, uh, this new gang that's already there. Uh, more I did a note, some cool fake advertisements that I did. And what I started doing on the backs of these is I put character profiles so you could get to know each character each more. So I uh, started with Alex. So I was doing it in order of appearance basically. Then we have issue three, which is just more kill stuff going on at this uh, this skill, like all the the combat and all that. So we've got more sort of uh, stuff going on with each character. 
as you go through. There's a golden gun in this for some reason as well. I don't know why I put a golden gun in. <laughs> there's a this a zombie here that just pokes through a I think he pokes through a door and he just gets shot, you know. But yeah, that's uh, more of that in the the, the classic remains East styles I call it because they're all like pink and yeah. Moving on to number four, this was uh, where they found the compound, which is the it's a big part of the the remains East story. It's meant to be like a, a safe place and it's where he finds his family and stuff. But it's like these like military guys who are like dead uh, grumpy all the time and uh, most of them get killed off, kind of because uh, they're useless. Cause they're just mad all the time you know there's one of them going there but yeah some more notes uh artwork i did as well uh based around stuff going on at the time and uh yeah just more character profile says anya that's the one with the purple jumper which i really like the the color of that this is death this is this is more of a filler one that i did but it was mainly just to sort of um get the story ready for the the final in a way because you know i want to say it's filler because there is actually a bit of action in it but yeah, this is where uh, things are escalating in the story. Still using the classic style, obviously. And that was in 5th of February 2017 when I did that. So yeah, there's Kyle with his crowbar. He's like a he's like a big looter kind of character. Uh, number six was the last one in the first sort of story arc. That was in January 2017. And this is the cover that I really like. I'll probably redo this at some point because I do like that cover actually. Uh, this is Sanctuary, with the pickaxe on the front there. I do like a different weapon I need to cover as well, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, everything was escalating. There was this conflict between two groups, and by the end of it, obviously, Alex comes out on top, and yeah, there's just all this kill stuff. That was the 11th of January 2017. There's some more notes there. And on the back of this one, I did Jessica. So, it was just in order of appearance, really. Now this was a cover for a book that I wanted to do alongside Remainzy at the time. This was in January 2017, called Tainted Meat. And it never became a thing because I was doing Remainzy, which was a zombie story. And I wanted to do something sort of like in a different sort of area. So I, I tried fantasy and all this cool stuff. I made a character that was floating for some reason. They weren't meant to float like that, but that's how they came out. But yeah, this is something that never happened and it could have actually became a thing. But it never did. Shortly after anyway, I did... The Outbreak, which was an in, uh, sort of like an intro to Remain Z, but it wasn't in the actual series, so it's technically issue zero. And this is just telling you how it began. It's sort of showing you this lab where you meet this character who's actually meant to be the main villain. And he's got this biohazard suit and he, he steals the cure. He runs away, he goes rogue, he kills all of his um, his employees. <laughs> and yeah, this is, um, this is kind of introducing this character for uh, the future, basically. I did this cover, which um, I don't think it was meant to be a comic, it was just done in a comic cover style. And this is just something I did, which looks pretty cool. Obviously starting the new year, I went into the second story arc straight away. Obviously, I really wanted to start it at the time. I did a one year edition on there, because it had been a year at that point since I started this. And this is Change. This is actually where the book starts to change as well, because as you can see, I started um, using proper skin tones for each character and uh, just better art materials all around so still using the grid pattern for the panels so i wasn't doing the proper panel stuff that i should have done but yeah this is what this one looked like and by the time you get to the end there's a much chunkier looking editor notes which were easier to read that was a uh, 22nd of february 2017 and then we got earl on the back who who died in the second issue so yeah he was he was long gone by then i did this one and this was just mainly based on the tv show at the time so it was mainly just a exactly everything they say in the tv show and then i just did quick remains -y st uh, yeah remains -y style illustrations in there but i do like the cover the cover came out pretty cool at the time uh number eight was a big one for remains -y because it actually these characters were all based on real friends and this was meant to be sort of like these uh the main cast meeting these characters and getting along with them and stuff and expanding the whole remains -y stuff and yeah, everything just kind of improved for this one. There was a lot more action. There was a lot more um, detail and everything. Like you got the compound wall behind every character instead of it just being blank, which is kind of cool. And yeah, there was more uh, editing up to the end, more artwork. That was uh, that was in March, I think. 24th of March. And then we got Matthew the Psycho, who was also long gone by then because it's in order of appearance. A thing that I was meant to do was I was doing a volume so I was going to redo the, the first six in black and white and put them in this. 
but this was the cover for that anyway. This is Breakout March 2017 and it's still a cool cover so that's why it's kind of here. Moving throughout the story now, this is the last one that I didn't actually finish but this is a uh, number 9. This is where things actually started to improve really like in a big way. So this was chest pass, there wasn't any uh, drawings on the front. This is when I started using panels. I think I used too many panels for this though because uh, it kind of just looks a bit <laughs> like there's too much in there but some pages were alright like this page was alright for example and yeah everything was looking cool got all this cool stuff going on and the last page here which I never actually finished or put in is when this explosion happens and the gearing up for war pretty much because uh, that's when the conflict starts but I did do covers for future ones because I did actually plan it out at the time so this is March 2017 and this is the guy with the golden gun versus the main group so there's a uh, number 10s there's number 11s which i didn't know what to put on this one so it was just a, a firefight looking thing where they're in the middle of a fight that was july 2017 because i was planning out when i was gonna actually do these and number 12 which is my favorite this is aftermath august 2017 and this is kind of what the aftermath looks like it's just alex covered in blood just stood there and after that in 2018 or 2019 i can't remember when i did this one this was meant to be a completely redone version of Remain Z that was meant to be published. So this was the first attempt at trying to publish something. And this was the first book, but it was redone to look better and have a sort of better storyline. And uh, this is the guy from the first issue who actually comes into the shop and starts trouble. So yeah, we've got this kill scene where he goes R as well. I think this is probably my favorite black and white one that I've done because I put up quite a bit of detail in like this car, for example. I did actually try to do my best with detail for this one, so yeah, it's actually really cool but it never got finished, I didn't really feel like continuing it because, I don't know, Remains is one of those ones that I have trouble redoing. Then came Lifeless in 2018 or 2019, it was one or the other, late 2018 or early 2019, and uh, this was meant to be sort of like a, a new story instead of it just being Remains A, just completely different, and this was black and white with panels as well so this is kind of what it looks like i have done various videos on this one before if you want to go and check them out but this is what this one looks like and i did actually finish this i think it was 20 pages and there's a kill cool back there this world has become lifeless just to sort of put the logo back in the cover so yeah i did the second cover i didn't actually finish this one i think he only did half of this one but this is where uh, things start to escalate and then there's a uh, another group in there as well so yeah that was uh, the second one for lifeless and this is where the format changed and um, it's my current format for how I do comics. And uh, this is sort of like the, the present Brad Dross, <laughs> how he does his comics. Uh, I don't actually do covers for these. So if I do a cover, I draw it somewhere else and just, um, yeah, it becomes what it becomes. But these are more like manuscripts, how I did these ones. But this is uh, Eternal Light. You might remember this, you might not. Uh, this is one that I did. This is every single page for that. I think he only did 12 pages, so I only did half a book's worth. But this is what every single page looks like as we're going through, giving you a cool look at them. All in black and white, all have the, the text underneath the boxes instead of actually on the boxes. So obviously doing them digitally would have been easier to do. And that was meant to be the, the third part, which I never actually finished. So yeah, that's, that's Eternal Light. Obviously after Eternal Light, I did something else, which is um, a rewritten version of Remain Z in a sort of cool style. And I still think to this day, the first page of this is my favourite first page of any book I've done. Because uh, you got this cool introduction to Alex at the time. And then obviously she comes in to save him. Shoots the walker. Shoots the zombie. Not not the walker. But yeah, this is a Remain Z. I still think this is a cool one that I did at the time. Because I do like the style on this one. But it just kind of faded away over time. And I just kind of um, moved on with my art style. So it never really, it never really continued. But there was a bit of this that never came out. Yeah, that's that. On to the present. You may have seen this. You probably have seen this. Who knows? But this is Faith. This is the one that actually got finished. And I managed to do all 22 pages of this one because I was so passionate about this story. But this is what this one looks like. This is um, my present, how I do comics now with the uh, panels and stuff. So yeah, this is uh, black and white, all of it, the whole thing what it looks like and then you've got all the characters you've got all this cool scenery i really like doing 
as much as I can in the background now. Like it's the thing that I'm kind of building up to doing more of. So obviously you've got him stood there, you've got his entire uh, apartment flat. So you can kind of get a look of where he lives and his bedroom and stuff like that. It's something that I really like doing because it's kind of like world building. So yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing with this one as a whole really. So yeah, that's Faith for you. That's every single 22 pages. And at the very end of this, if I can get to it, there's actually another version of Remains Eat that I've just started and there's only one one piece done so far so you might see that in the future who knows but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video this has just been a look at everything from 2015 to the present of uh, how i do my comics and how i've improved over time hope you've enjoyed this video hope this video gives you some ideas on what you can do if you want to make your own comics and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more comic book videos for ideas and inspiration and all that cool stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one